Hey guys, Thunder E here, and you've been waiting for this video. Yes, we're gonna compare the brand new Apple AirPods or AirPods 2 versus the Galaxy Buds to find out if Apple has done something better with the AirPods 2, so let's find out. All right, so starting with the AirPods 2, brand new, retail for 199, why? Well, because it does come with a wireless charging case. Mind you, you can get that case separately for about 79 bucks and use it with your uh, old uh, AirPods. So the AirPods 2 come with a new case. That case has an LED indicator in the front letting you know it's charging either green, fully charged, red, not charged. Will charge on any Qi wireless surface, including, of course, your Galaxy S10 line devices like the Galaxy S10e in this video here. It is powered by the H1 chip, which gives you slightly more talk time and improved audio, which Apple hasn't stated what that is. Now, you're wondering what's the difference between this and the original? Well, with the original case, it literally looks uh, the same. Like you can look at it, it looks the same. Uh, it's got a lightning port at the bottom. Again, the LED indicator is the only thing that's different. And the location of the Bluetooth or the sync button at the back is centralized with the AirPods 2, while of course the original one is closer to the bottom. But the AirPods themselves look the same. They've got that, of course, Q-tip look. Uh, design looks similar. And when you take it out of the case, of course, they easily pair to your iPhone. That's still there, really fast, it's quick and it's easy, so that's really nice. Uh, plus, when you take it out of one ear, uh, while you're listening to music, it pauses music, you put it back, it plays music again. Now, in terms of fit and feel, it looks exactly the same, so they fit the same way. I put them in my ears, they don't stay well for me, so if I shake, it falls off, as you can see, as I shook my head, and it doesn't stay too well. When it comes to audio quality, the only thing I've noticed to be heard is some changes to the highs. Not as much as I would like, so it, basically Apple is trying to compensate for the fact that the bass is really tuned all the way so they can push more sound into your ear because it doesn't necessarily fit in properly. So they have those highs increased so that you can get some of those vocals. It does give you some improvement, but not enough for me to warrant spending more money on this. I just have to say that. but. In terms of wireless charging, you do have that option now, but you can also buy that case separately. Now, let's move on to, of course, the Galaxy Buds. Now, the Galaxy Buds come in at around $150. Does have a built-in wireless charging case, as you see here, about six to seven hours of uh, battery life, and then with the case, about 14 or 15 hours combined. So, combined battery life is slightly less than what you have with the AirPods 2, but in terms of fit and feel, they look, feel really comfortable. They've got touch controls, really easy, and they fit quite comfortably, comfortably to your ears. Now, when, of course, you take them out of case, they will pair automatically with your device. It's really fast and snappy just as well. And also, when you take one out, it actually pauses music as well. So you've got those functionalities built in. But when I shake my head, and I shake my head, and I give myself a headache, the doesn't fall off. It's still in my ear, so I do like that. It does give a very tight seal, so you can go into the application, which is the Gear, uh, the Gear app, and go in and change, you know, the uh, the sound profile. You can change it from dynamic to bass, and that is where this has an advantage. Because of that sound profile, and because of also Adobe Atmos on a Galaxy device, you're getting much better sound quality. The EQ customization here is really, really good, and fits these uh, um, this uh, earbuds pretty well. Now. Both of them run about seven millimeter drivers, so you're not getting the best amount of sound anyway. But I think what Samsung does with the Galaxy uh, Galaxy Buds goes a long way in balancing that and giving you something again. Where I've worn these on a plane and I've gotten so much better seal in terms of noise isolation. And I think it works really well and it really pushes the sound in there for you, so you get a better grasp of the music, more balanced, uh, I would say, for something like this, compared to the AirPods, which of course, again, cost, uh, AirPods 2, which cost more money at $200 because you're getting a wireless charging case. So for me, the winner here is the Galaxy Buds. I mean, I think they still sound better. You're still getting all everything that you find in the AirPods 2 plus wireless charging at almost at least you know $50 less. If you really want to get that case and you've had your AirPods for a while, go ahead and just buy the case. That's the best thing. To me right now, the AirPods 2 are not worth it and are truly a waste of your time. This is a much better option.
So there you have it guys. If you have any questions or any comments about the Galaxy Buds or the AirPods 2, let me know. I'll try and send them for you. If you completely disagree with me and you have yours, leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think they've improved or they should improve or the things they should do better. Anyway, don't forget to like and share this video, favor this video, subscribe to the channel, and also enter into our two giveaways. We're giving away a Galaxy S10e, have a link for that down below, and two Galaxy M20s. Also, there's a link for you. So go ahead and enter into both of them. Win, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.